Hi everyone. Today I wanted to um, show you just something really quick on the Imagine. Uh, there are a lot of questions about this and I myself didn't know how to do this until someone um, here on this blog mentioned how to do this and I really appreciate it. So I thought maybe there are some of you out there that don't know how to change the border size on your images so that when you cut you don't have that border. Press menu to get to this screen or just turn on your Imagine and the screen will pop up and there's this little thing here that says settings. Click on that and then if you see border preferences you just click on that and there's three. It says default, thickness, and custom and you can choose those and change your border. Here I put click on custom and here it says size 0.04 and I'm just going to take it down to no border and hit apply. So now for my project I want to go to print and cut and I'm going to choose this square here that's on just the main imagine screen and I'm going to change that size of that to a 5.1 because my little trivet is about a 5.1 and then I'm going to apply a pattern to this using Kate's kitchen kitchen I currently don't have my cartridge in so I'm going to add that apply the pattern and cut the square out and I'm going to be doing two of these so once I get the pattern on there I'll copy it and I'll show you that in just a second okay everyone I decided to turn to Cricut craft room um, and do a cute little project but Cricut Craft Room again is having a few issues so I use these images here the coffee cup from Kate Kitchen um, Kate's Kitchen and the little bubble that says I was made just for you and I thought these were really cute and I'm going to be using these um, I printed this out on the craft room as well this little piece of paper with a design on it. Um, you can see these weird, I think, I hope you can see this. There's the weird little image that came out on the side and a weird little picture that came out here. I'm not sure what those are. I, I'm not seeing them when I go to cut and I'll show you this in a minute. And it also spit it out without cutting. But that's okay because I'm just going to cut this out in the square anyhow. But I wanted to give the trivet layers and in order to do that, I, I came into Cricut Craft Room and just separated everything out. And this is what I have, just the coffee cups and the two little things. But when I go to cut, there's a cut button right over here. I can find my mouse. And I hit go. Ask me to choose my device. I'm going to use the Imagine. And it'll give me a pre print preview. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's these two big humps right here. don't know where they're from or why they're there, but I do know that when I went to cut it out, this set here, what it cut out for me, not the cups or the thing, but those two little humps. So this is a new build to Cricut Craft Room. Um, there's still a few issues, but I will tell you that in order to make that sheet that you saw with the layers in it, these here, I put this all together and then I highlighted the whole thing and the way the, you highlight something is you just drag your mouse over it like if I want to highlight all these and you'll get a nice box over the top sorry I'm in the cut screen here but if I put a box like this over everything then I can go up and group the item and when you group the item then you get layers like this to um, print out as just one flat image, which is really cute. I kind of wanted that for a base. So what I'm going to do now is take these other things that I cut out, or that I printed, and I'm going to cut them out by hand using a small pair of micro tip scissors. And they do a pretty good job. It's just a little bit more time consuming. Okay, so I finally got all my pieces cut out by hand. I have the square for the trivet, and I have the little cups that I cut out with those micro tip scissors. It does a really good job cutting them out when you're careful. And little letters as well. So what I'm gonna do is use my ATG gun and tape these down to the trivet that I spray painted. You can see it's spray painted black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off the page and maybe these as well. 
using my um, circle foam dots. These are the large ones. And then I'll have my finished little home decor project. Thank you.